we just got revealed everything releasing for LEGO Star Wars for the May the 4th event this year. So we're going to take a look at everything from gifts with purchase to an insider's gift that you can get with points to all the sets releasing. So this is your unofficial guide to May the 4th. But first, what is up, you guys? Misa back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Will, and if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, hitting that notification bell, subscribing to the channel, and sharing this video out there. So the first set we're going to take a look at is set number 40675, Clone Commander Cody. It'll have 147 pieces, and it'll be retailing for $9.99. Now, it's important to note that mo all these sets release May 1st. That includes all the gift with purchases. The only thing I'm not sure if whether or not it releases May 1st is the the insider's gift but we'll we'll get to that in a moment but taking a look at commander cody himself being a brickhead set i'm not as huge a fan of the brickheads that being said this is probably one of the better looking brickheads due to the fact that the helmet looks really good he also has a hologram right here presumably from the order 66 scene i wish they could have included a palpatine piece but that's the only real complaint i have about this brickheads the other brickhead set we're getting is set number 40676 the phantom menace so of 732 pieces, it'll be retailing for $54.99. Now this is a set celebrating the, I'm pretty sure it's the 25th anniversary of the Phantom Menace, which is a really good milestone, congrats. The Brickheads we're all getting in the set is a younger Anakin, Queen Amidala, Jar Jar Binks, Captain Panaka, Darth Maul, and Qui-Gon Jinn. Now Jar Jar Binks is one of my personal favorite Star Wars characters. I mean, if you haven't gotten that from all my intros over the past few videos. Misa back! All the characters in this are really well designed. Captain Panaka, it looks really good. As well as Darth Maul. My biggest problem with Qui-Gon is it feels like his his this this plate right here above his eyes. I get it. It's his face, but I don't know. It just I just like if they could have found the way to make the hair cover up these corners in the sense, or just designed it a little bit differently, I probably would have been extremely happy with the figure. Moving on, we have set number 75378. BARC Speeder Escape. It's a 221 pieces. It'll be retailing for $29.99. This set depicts the Mandalorian Season 3 scene where we get to finally see how Grogu escaped Order 66. So, of course, the set has Grogu. We have Kelleran Beck, which is actually played by Jar Jar Binks' actor. So, you know, I'm probably going to get that. <laughs> that being said, it's a pretty cheap set, and the BARC Speeder actually looks really good. We have two 501st Troopers. A bit different because of the helmet holes, and I know a lot. A lot of people don't like those. I've said my piece about them before, so I'm not going to continue quoting myself. And finally, we also got a bit of the Jedi Temple, this little lamppost right here. Yeah, so we've been asking for the Jedi Temple for years now, and this is what we get, a lamppost. What is this, the 30th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars? <laughs> no, it's the 25th. It's the 25th. Sorry, no, then LEGO Star Wars started with, alongside the Phantom Menace. That's my bad, guys. Either way, 25 years, not a single Jedi Temple. Moving on to what's my personal favorite set releasing is set number 75381, Droidica. So well, 583 pieces. It'll be retailing for $64.99. Now I absolutely love this set. Droidica's I so I grew I didn't grow up watching Star Wars. One of the first films I saw was actually episode one. I didn't watch the films in timeline order or anything. It just growing up, I got to see some scenes here and there, and one of the first scenes I got to see was this epic scene with these roll droids just come out of nowhere and chase the Jedi off. That scene always stuck with me. I became a huge Droidica fan ever since. And seeing this droid right here, brick-built form, looks absolutely incredible. Love it. Absolutely love it. The same cannot be said for the miniature version, which sadly I would have much rather had something more akin to the um, 2013 version, the one that the ones that came in the battle pack i know they're not no one considers these very perfect but i would have rather have had a version more similar to that than this all in all i'm really excited about this one next up we have set number 75380 moss espa pod race diorama so I have 718 pieces, and it'll be retailing for $79.99. Now being another diorama set, I really don't have too much to say. It's a very much for 18 plus fans. I don't personally collect the diorama sets, but this is a really well designed. I love all the landscaping in particular. It looks really cool. And to see miniature versions of Anakin and Sebulba's pod racers is a really nice addition. And we have a little quote here from Qui-Gon is remember, concentrate on the moment, feel, don't think, use your instincts. 
Words to live by. Next up, we have set number 75383, Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator. So I have 640 pieces, and it will be retailing for $69.99. That's also important to note that this set is currently available for pre-order. That could end any day now. But if you catch it and it's still available for pre-order, you can go ahead and do that. Now, this is a very interesting set. The biggest controversial thing, let's just get out of the way, is the Darth Maul without pupils on the eyes. Lego, what were you thinking? I don't know. Qui-Gon looks good, Anakin looks good, this Darth Maul without, uh, I don't know, uh. <laughs> okay, moving on, let's see here, the back of the Sif Infiltrator of course opens up, we have a couple probe droids that drop from the ship, I think I have, what is it, the 2012 version of the set, I think it came out in 2012, I do think this one looks a lot better, whether or not I pick it up, eh, it's up for debate, that Darth Maul really turns me away, nonetheless, really nice to see some more Phantom Menace sets get the recognition they deserve, especially at the 25th anniversary. If only we could have gotten an MTT. Oh man, I really want an MTT. Next up, we have a book. That's right, a book. Item number 5008878, The Force of Creativity. Uh, cost $149.99, and it's essentially a massive 25th anniversary behind the scenes book with lots of interviews from designers, concept art, you know, a lot. It's basically a behind the scenes coffee table book that you could pick up. I would pick it up, but I, I'm not paying $150 for that. Sorry, not gonna happen. That being said, it looks really cool. I like the design of the packaging it's coming in. And then you don't get much shots of what's inside the book. You could get a, here's a couple quick looks at pieces that never got designed. There's just a lot of interesting things to unpack in this book. Moving on to the ultimate collector set, set number 75382, Eye Interceptor. We'll have 1,931 pieces and will be retailing for $229.99. Now, okay, here we go. So this set is releasing May 4th, and you get early access if you're a LEGO... Oh, sorry, no. Yeah, 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 early access if you're an Insiders member at the first. So yeah, be sure to join that. It's free and easy. Now, taking a look at the actual set itself, I think back to the last UCS TIE Fighter set we got, and I say this is a pretty good matchup to that. You could have those displayed right next to each other, and they would look really good. Personally, I don't have any real complaints about the design. Then again, I don't look at TIE Interceptors that closely to know exactly whether or not it's completely accurately designed, but it's a UCS set and most of the time they do look really good, so I'm gonna assume it's pretty accurate. The only minifigure you get in the set is a TIE Fighter Pilot and a Mouse Droid, which honestly is all you could really hope for for a set like this. It's, it's what the set needs. So, moving on. All right, so moving on to the LEGO Insiders rewards thing you can get. It's just this little art print, essentially. Cost is 1,800 points. And it's going to be a limited edition. And it, it says it has Jedi Bob in here somewhere, which is pretty cool. But this little art piece here it has figures from all over the LEGO Star Wars galaxy, including, I think, the original General Grievous figure, which is really cool. So once again, for 1,800 points, and as long as you're an Insiders member, you can get this. All right, so moving on with the gift with purchases. First, you get this little AAT. It'll be available with purchases over $40. It'll be our first poly bag that currently does not have an actual set attached to it. But hopefully we get an AAT soon. In fact, I'm hoping for January next year we get a set like this, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Next up, we have this Yavin 4 collectible coin showing Luke Skywalker fly through the trench. This will have a threshold of $90. It's a nice little collectible. Once again, this case seems to open and close and show the coin inside. And that leaves the big one with a threshold of $160, which is quite a bit, but still, I absolutely love this, is 40686 Trade Federation Troop Carrier. 262 pieces, six battle droids, two pilot droids, once again, honoring the episode 125th anniversary, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. One of my first ever sets was back in 2000, was it the 2012 or 11 um, tro droid troop transport that came with Jar Jar Binks, a Gungan warrior, eight battle droids, two pilot droids. And I still absolutely love that set. I missed out on the 2015 version, and I'm definitely going to be picking this one up. I would definitely pick up more if I could, but I think I don't remember if Lego.com only allows you one per purchase, or at least one per customer, or something like that. There's another quick shot at the back of the box art here. You can see how it slides off. It's kind of similar to like the original, original version of this set, the Battle Droid Battle Pack. Nonetheless, I really like how this set turned out. 
Another quick close up shop and that's it. The last important thing to note is the sales. We will be having a whole bunch of select Star Wars sets on sale as well as double VIP points and times four VIP points for a very select few. They're also teasing a couple sweepstakes and remember all this will be taking place May 1st through the 5th. That is currently everything we know coming for the May the 4th event. But alrighty, what sets are you planning on getting? Let me know down in the comments section. This has been your unofficial guide to everything going on May 4th for LEGO Star Wars. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, hitting that notification bell, subscribing to the channel, and sharing this video out there. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.